It is Martin Luther King Day 2013 and we are out for our first hike of the year. We are taking what I hope will be a short and not very strenuous walk from George's Gap in the San Gabriel Mountains out out around behind Hort Hoyt Mountain to Grizzly Flats Road. And George's Gap is the first major looking trail head. Just when you come up to the top of Highway 2 from La Cañada. But it's not terribly popular. And this location has a pair of commemorative plaques here that give a little bit of the history of the forest when it was established and what it was originally called. And the view from where it starts out here, the walk starts out, is right across the small valley here to the Angeles Forest Highway that splits off from the Angeles Crest just a little ways from here at Cold Creek uh, Canyon. And uh, the view, you can see Strawberry Peak and Josephine Peak, which are also fairly popular hikes. And the trail zigzags down switchbacks along this side of the hill here down toward Cold Creek itself, which is down that way. This is not one of the major recreation trails in the area and consequently it is not as well maintained as some of them. And there are these small brushy trees that have been burned actually now in a couple of fires and they keep slumping down across the trail. Both times that I have been here in the past, I have tried to make a way for myself through some of these by breaking off these little twigs. And both times I have ended up covered in scratches and charcoal. And I was sort of hoping that the station fire had burnt all this up completely, but it did not. So it looks like this may be happening to me again. Even aside from the trees, this trail is quite significantly overgrown just with the chaparral that's regrown since the station fire. And the trail is perfectly visible, but I am having to push through the, the chaparral. I'm hoping this will open out a little more once we get down to the bottom. This is considerably heavier going than I was hoping for. This big bunch of trees here is down across the trail. And although the trees aren't very big, they're completely tangled and I think they're still sort of rooted up there. So I don't even think I can pull any of this out of the way. We're just gonna have to thread right through it. Shelley has decided that we should call this George's Not Quite Gap. Which may be a pretty good way of describing it. And it looks like our hike has come to an end, much shorter than I was expecting. We're most of the way through the switchbacks down to the bottom of the canyon, but um, between the overgrowth and the 
erosion, this trail has just simply become impassable. We even tried taking a, a small use, what looks like a, a use trail that would have cut off some of the switchbacks, but that just ends in a tangle as well. It looks like I can even see some of the trail routes coming back up from the bottom of the canyon to a couple of places along the Angeles Forest Highway on the other side. But um, this is basically just climbing right through the chaparral. When this was put in, it actually seems to have originally been, uh, there seems to have been an original uh, uh, self-guided interpretive trail here that ran between George's Gap and Cold Creek up there, the ranger station. We saw a couple of little posts here informing us this was the World of Chaparral Trail. And at least for today, the Chaparral has won. We're on our way back up and came into a little clear spot and the sun is just coming down beautifully onto the ridge from Josephine Peak. And it's really just very beautiful. You can see all the little crags and valleys and everything here. And even though we were not able to follow the trail, it is actually still a nice day in the mountains. Okay, well here you see the aftermath, or some of it anyway. Yeah, charcoal and scratches, three for three. I've got a, I've got one here too. That was a dead tree. Did that to me. Okay, take over. 